Uh, okay, in this exercise, I will explain about how to use Boronoi pattern and then create a shadow like natural pattern like a shade underneath as you saw here. So to create this kind of a Boronoi pattern, uh, what we are going to use is actually we need a set of uh, point, uh, which is these points and actually also you need the boundary. And actually here we are going to use a Boronoi component. And then Boronoi component actually create a fragmented cells, which is basically all these cells here. Uh, and then actually by using this cell, we extract control points. And then use that control points, we draw curve. And then actually we shrink it down for easy laser cutting. And also we are going to we actually uh, extrude the surface. So we can uh, make a 3D printed uh, shade or, uh, shading device. OK, so let's start uh, from scratch. So I'll delete everything. And I do everything here too. So okay. So first of all, our in, uh, our shading device, which is uh, 32 by 36 inch. So I will simply using rectangle. I start with zero, and then I type 32 and 36. So this is our uh, boundary uh, shadow device. So I will. Uh, I'm going to use Voronoi. I simply type. Voronoi. There are actually uh, four different types of Voronoi. I'm just going to use the simplest one. This one Voronoi here. And this one requires a point and a list points and boundary to use it. So here I will prepare points. Uh, what I'm going to use, I'll change to top view. So here, if you right mouse button, if you click right mouse button, actually you can uh, create multiple points. So I'll click right mouse button, and then explore temporarily. I shut, I turn it off object snap, and then I'll kind of create a points a little bit dense on edge side and a little bit denser, a little bit uh, sparser on somewhere in the middle and center maybe one or two three. Okay, so I have my, uh, my points are ready so to select this one I'm going to use a point component double click it and I'll type point and then I'll set a multiple points by selecting all point and enter and I simply connect it to points and actually it create a Voronoi pattern like this but to cut out the uh, extended uh, vertical and horizontal line we need boundary so for this boundary I will extract parameter and then I'll set one rectangle which we already drew it but as you see here uh, as you see here if I uh, extract component actually it asks you to draw rectangle so instead of doing that I want to select already uh, uh, already made already uh, a rectangle is already made here so instead of using this one uh, I'll just simply using uh, geometry and then I will set one geometry which is our curve and simply connect it to boundary so now you see that a Voronoi pattern uh, generated inside the boundary so now we are the next step is we are going to create curves which is fill inside so actually the Voronoi cell is actually each uh, each cell, fragmented each cell. So from we, what we want to do is actually we want to extract point uh, from the cell. So we are going to use control point components. So here is control. There are uh, control point. So here is control point, and simply we are going to connect the cells to curves. And actually, what we see here is that this one create a or corner po points around each cell and by using this points uh, we can create curve uh, we can create a curve for each cell so we are going to use nerve curve and actually there is uh, there are uh, two nerve curves so this one and this one and this one is actually it has more options so you can define uh, weight and not uh, this one second one actually there is no input like that so actually this one is simpler so we are going to use this one and then we are just simply connect points to vertices that's it and actually you see that all curves are generated so this one yes if you laser cut this one there there are many problems where these uh, curves attached to uh, the edge line and also we see that this kind of edge one here this one uh, we can fix it by simply uh, make uh, give uh, true which is boolean you can use also boolean toggle too and if you connect it first that this one will be uh, non-periodic if you make it true by double clicking it I will set it as double click and it's true then actually this one is a little bit periodic and then also I will set degree 3 probably 
and I connect it. So maybe smoother, and if you do it, then it should become more smoother. And then also, you may want to a um, little bit shrink down the size of the, each curve. So I'm going to use. Okay, so this this one says that the degree must be less than the number of control point. So some control point is actually a larger number. So I'll change to four. And then I'm going to reduce down a little bit to prevent any edge condition. So here I'm going to use actually a scale. And then I connect those curves into geometry. And then we need to calculate the center using actually area. And then I connect these curves to geometry and centroid to center. And actually this is the default set is actually 0 0.5. So I change it to 0 0.9 by double clicking here. And I just type 0 0.9 and connect it to factor. So actually this one is our final uh, geometry and I will bake it and I'll put it in layer 02 and I will group them and actually a little bit uh, okay before I move it there okay so I will also select the boundary curves and then I'll simply copy these curves to a side and then actually you, you can uh, you, you can laser cut this one to create your panel or if you and then to uh, simulate it and evaluate it in 3D Max and render this model, uh, we need to make a poly surface. So I will simply extrude the, these curves and then make sure that your solid is yes. And then let's take a look at uh, the height, just uh, any height you want to create. So let's take a look at this. How does the how does the shadow uh, look like? So I simply uh, move a little bit of high, and then I'll draw a ground plane here. And I change uh, display setting to artistic, and actually this one I change to perspective. So this one is the shadow that created from this uh, shading device. So I will delete this one too. So now you will see the shadow pattern underneath that. Okay, so this is our uh, second exercise.